Bonjour tout le monde. Aujourd'hui c'est mercredi le 6 décembre. La question de la semaine c'est qu'est-ce que tu as fait ce week-end? So you're going to use that those Jamboard options plus um, le mot de passe aujourd'hui and you're going to make your flip video to go back to le mot de passe as well. Je blague. Je blague. So your flip video will be using those. Remember when you go to the link you can always watch my example. That's hopefully very helpful especially with pronunciation. Um, aujourd'hui dans l'histoire. Aujourd'hui c'est mercredi le 6 décembre. Et le 6 décembre is a special day in France. C'est la fête de Saint-Nicolas. La fête de Saint-Nicolas. Uh, Saint-Nicolas, or Saint Nicholas, um, was an actual saint back in the day. Couldn't tell you exactly when in history, but a long, long time ago. Um, and as you might be aware, although I don't think I was until I started studying French, this is something that's kind of a European thing. All the dates on the calendar um, in countries that are traditionally Catholic have a um, saint that is the patron saint of whatever day. So the patron saint of le 6 décembre is Saint Nicholas, Saint Nicolas. The patron saint of le 17 mars, March 17th, can you remember or can you guess? Saint Patrick. How about le 14 février? Le 14 février. February 14th would be... Saint Valentine. So those are just a couple of other examples that we see um, and that are celebrated here in the U.S. for the same reason. Those happen to be the saints that are um, associated with that calendar day. So le 6 décembre, c'est la fête du Saint-Nicolas. Um, et, et voilà, le Saint-Nicolas est fête, is celebrated dans le nord-est, northeast, le nord-est de la France. Um, the part of France that has a border with Germany, uh, Belgium, so way up here. Um, and really that encompasses only a smart, small part of the French population, but it's still important in that one part where it's celebrated. And then of course there's a zone where some people celebrate it and some don't. And then the vast majority of France does not celebrate Le, Le Saint-Nicolas. But for the part that does, it's a very important time. So let's talk about it. Avant de se coucher, les enfants mettent leurs souliers ou leurs chaussures dans le couloir. So, before going to bed, children put their slippers ou leurs chaussures, their shoes, dans, in le couloir, the hallway. Quand il se réveille, Saint-Nicolas est venu pendant la nuit et il a rempli leurs chaussures avec des bonbons ou des petits cadeaux. Um, quand il se réveille, when they wake up, Saint-Nicolas est venu, has come pendant la nuit, during the night, il a rempli leurs chaussures avec des bonbons ou des petits cadeaux. So it's with um, candy or little gifts. Okay, bon. Where is la fête de Saint-Nicolas most often celebrated in France? A, what types of cadeau gifts do kids get in their chaussures for this holiday? This may not be the best example, but you can at least see a couple concrete things in here. So what do you think are a couple of those things that you can see from that picture? Okay, um, donc, aujourd'hui dans l'histoire, make sure you finish that discussion. Um, you can watch the video for la chanson de la semaine, je veux, once again. And then I also want you to practice with les gestes TPR because as I mentioned earlier, those are part of your flip video. So that, um, all the information for that is here with the link. And then the last thing for today is you are going to be able to watch this the video of um, Le singe qui aime caresser des animaux. So the monkey that likes to pet animals. Um, this is our next story. It's the one for which we talked about the character Gary Le Singe last week. 
Um, and I am going to be posting a video here. Currently, I'm waiting for it to, um, I edit it and I have to wait for it to, um, what's the word? for the video to be ready. I don't quite know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I edited the video and I have to wait until it's ready <laughs> to be able to um, attach it here. So I will make sure that I put the link in here as soon as I can. Um, that will be before tomorrow, of course. So you can watch that video. Now, jeudi, demain, you'll have the actual um, quiz on Gary Nassange. So you'll have the opportunity to watch the story video at that point too, if you'd like. It's up to you if you want to watch it today or tomorrow or both. Um, so make sure you are familiar with this story um, before taking your quiz tomorrow. Et c'est tout pour aujourd'hui. That's it for today. Au revoir tout le monde.